So, shaders are cool, but you wanna understand the beast. Not a problem, in the next two minutes you'll understand this shader so hard that stupid itself will forget you existed. Alright, let's do this. Base color just changes the color. Subsurface color is just the color of the inside of the object. The inside of your body is a pinkish orange color, and that is why when you shine a light through your hands, that is the color it glows. If you were a plant, your subsurface color would be light green instead. Basically, if light can go through it, the subsurface should be greater than zero. If you're doing metal, set this to one. Otherwise, set it to zero. No in between, it's either metal or it's not. Specular, how shiny is it? Does it reflect light? If yes, move it up. If no, move it down. But if you are doing photorealism, try to leave this at 0.5 and just change roughness instead. Specular tint, normally your reflection will be the same color as your light source. But if you want the reflection to be the same color as the object, move this all the way up instead. Roughness, ask yourself, could you use this object as a mirror to fix your hair. If the answer is yes, then slap that roughness down low. Otherwise, kick it up a bit. Anistropic. Do you want this weird circle reflection? Or do you want this beautiful, clean, normal reflection? If you want this weird circle one, move this all the way up and then change the angle of rotation underneath. Sheen. Honestly, you'll never use this. But you know when you're watching hand <coughs> anime and, uh, and one of the characters clearly has black hair, except not really? Like it has some sort of weird faint blue purple tint to it? Well, that faint tint is basically a sheen. It's a tiny extra highlight color. It's easier to see on dark things, but you'll notice that if we give it a sheen, a tiny extra amount of light is added. If you want the sheen to be the same color as the object, raise the tint. Otherwise, the extra light will be the same color as the light source. Clear coat. Would you like your object saran wrapped? If you do, give it a clear coat. Then decide how clear you want the coat reflection to be. It's basically an extra reflection on top of your normal reflection. Reflexception, if you will. You can also give that clear coat its own separate normal map if you have one, but uh, that's up to you. Index of refraction. Is your object glassy? If it is, make sure that metallic is set to zero. The more glassy it is, the more transition should be set to one. And for the IOR amount, some beautiful angel at Pixel Poly has collected the exact number for each real life material. So check that out to see what this number should be. Again, the more clear you want the reflection, the lower your roughness should be. Emission. Does this thing generate light? If it does, what color and how strong should it be? Congratulations, you have tamed the beast. If you join me next video, I'll teach you exactly how to plug all your textures into this bad boy. Hope that helps. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.